long story short, first of all, don't get fired, nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta talk about Kanye. Oh, I gotta hear <laughs> power. Kanye, man, don't get fired, nobody. I need um, your power 600 thoughts. Once we, once so we, like <laughs> I said, man, uh, we want everybody to, to kind of chime in on these joints, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we saw we saw what happened with Ye. We if you didn't see the actual interview, it's still on the internet. Now we know it got deleted. Um we saw we're gonna talk about Nori here in a minute, but what's you guys' thoughts on just what Ye was saying that you can say on YouTube, basically? You know what I'm saying? Cause he said a lot. But was it a lot of cap? Was it real? What's your thoughts? And Scandalous, you start this one off, man. What was your thoughts yeah, on you. this interview? I actually didn't get the chance to check out the full interview. So I'll, I'll okay. let you guys go. And then I'll... Okay. Jake, what, what was your thoughts on it, on this one? Oh, man. Uh, so much, ain't it? Yeah, I got to be careful, too, with my, with my choice of words and, <laughs> yeah. and the essence of <laughs> getting canceled mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But, mm-hmm. you know, some of the stuff was definitely the truth you know what i'm saying some things he was saying we probably didn't want to hear or we needed to hear but there was a lot of stuff in there that i felt that needed to be fact checked though too there was some things that he was saying i was like come on man like where where is the <laughs> the fox news cnn fact check guy man with the, the stuff that he's just throwing out of here throwing uh, at the wall hope it sticks now what i don't like is the fact that they trying to cancel this dude like that's what i don't like because I, I i i am a firm believer in freedom of speech as long as you ain't talking right. about killing nobody and you know what i'm saying messing with somebody's family like I, i'm a firm believer in freedom of speech and i don't think you should shut a guy up for voicing his his right that's his opinion that's his thoughts you know what i'm saying some of this stuff was a little seedy you know what i'm saying we could definitely <laughs> fact check him on it but hey i mean if you're gonna allow a dude like this on your platform you you, you have to know you know what i'm saying what's coming and to me this is a bad look right for nori it's a bad look for um you know for diddy and that camp that you know what i'm saying to me it felt set up you know what i'm saying i mean i'm not gonna lie i felt like they was setting this dude up for this you know what I'm saying? To further try to expose him to be canceled. Now, well, this thing, Ye- I was saying Steve Ripken, uh, which is one of our Jewish brothers, uh, was on mm-hmm. the was on the episode allegedly too. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I was I was just about to get into that. And okay. that's also what's a little strange to me. You know what I'm saying? So when you add that into a lot of the stuff that he was saying and you combine that with the other real issues that he has, which we've talked about in our group chat, you know what I'm saying? With, with Chase and some of these other folks that really do matter. Like that's yep. different. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like to, to Power's point, like I, I was not feeling the whole George. I, I don't like speaking on like people who ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, to, to me, that's out of bounds. You're speaking on George Floyd, regardless of how you feel about it. I, You know, I, I don't feel those things should be touched on because you're talking about somebody who was, who, who's gone. You know what I'm saying? And his family was impacted by that, obviously. Now they're trying to sue. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you feel, what side of the aisle you're on, how you feel about the whole George Floyd situation, I, I feel like those type of things are out of bounds. To me, that's like talking about somebody's uh, well, and this is the thing. Before you go in, Bebo, scandalous. Do you think all this hurts his legacy? Kanye's. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about just not even this interview. Just what he's been doing recently over the last couple months. See, the thing with this interview, though, I think like like how you guys said, I think it was a setup because you already seen Kanye going off the wall on Instagram, Facebook. He was already suspended on that, you know. Um, mm. So they already knew that he, the type of person he was and the type of stuff he was putting out there. So for Nori to want to do this interview i don't know if it was clout chasing or they had an ulterior motive or not but <laughs> so, something was going on i think bebo what's your thoughts on this man and don't get fired oh <laughs> uh, well now hold on queen queen uh queen anna saying uh kanye was right he was in the process of acquiring social media parlay which is owned by Parler. candace uh owens husband mm-hmm. husband yeah uh, with george that's he, the part that's I, a good feel. Move. I think it's a good move what's your thoughts though Bebo. Oh, on everything. Bebo. Just on the even even on the interview. 
Well, uh, there's so much <laughs> once again, but you know, I, I won't lay out the grand specifics of Ye's interview on Drink Champs. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I will say that at the same time, James Silver. Okay, uh, at the same time, this is going to go down as a uh, arguably interview of the year. I mean, hands down, wow, easy. or yeah, or, or at least the interview so, that sparked the series of guest appearances that yeah. he's been making from uh drink champs to uh so know where he gets that feather in his cap yeah yeah uh, well at least that <laughs> you know uh yay's been making his rounds he was on uh whatever cuomo's new thing is uh mm -hmm. to uh karen i mean uh pierce morgan as of late Stop. So, <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah hey uh, and, and and i know we know that there's likely going to be more uh more interviews but i mean it the drink champs interview it was just so jam packed full of controversial statements with the with the group that we all know yay's been speaking on the the mm -hmm. pain that's been going on in the black community george yep. floyd you know removal yeah and how that he how he believed that took place the uh the kardashian clan and so many mm -hmm. other mentions that's too many to count but one thing i'll say mm -hmm. one thing is for sure with the topics uh that he mentioned that he's in hot water for, he certainly got people talking about things that were really once kind of forbidden to public. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it, if anything, it did, it did kind of open up that like, yay, basically being the, the mega superstar that he is saying the things that he said, whether, you know, you agree with them or not. It, it created this vacuum that I think has a lot of elite and status quo people saying, Oh shoot. This what we we well, hope. Uh, the, the, and before, I will, you, before you go in, right. Jay. Scandalous. Do you think what, what's the end game? Where do you see this end up? Where do you see this this top spinning and ending for Ye? Can Honestly, he come out with? Can he come out with any more music? Is the music done? What is it? What, that comes up to game? the record label. If the record label is pushed by other you know entities, you know, maybe they might not allow his music to come out. So, but the parlor thing is kind of, it's kind of interesting because back when the whole thing with Trump, they, they pulled that from the Android store, the Google play store and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of pool there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep going. You got the goofy on. Keep going. Keep so going. Apple and Google have a lot of play there with allowing another app to blow up and be successful really so, so don't you I, think, I don't they, could, don't you think they could block it from even being on your phone yep they, they already did that when the, the whole trump thing happened mm. yep jay can't what, uh, what's what's your final thoughts on this one now nah, i mean you know we um you know check out carcino every time and shout out to carcino his feedback on it he said one thing that really kind of touched me and i kind of agree with that where I feel like the biggest mistake that Ye did make, and I think he might have to answer for that, was the same people he was going at. He didn't mind taking their money. It, that like those same people have always controlled the the music business, every all that. But he didn't mind taking their cheese, the bread. But now you want you want to clap back. To, back. Yeah. Way was right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, way yeah. was right. Well, that's what, what I'm Queen saying. is saying, whatever, when, whenever you build a platform on racism, uh, stockholder, da da da, uh, you will be, you will always be a slave. Go to other free speech spaces such as Rumble. One hundred percent. One hundred. You know what I'm saying? Um, you will, but it's tough when Google owns the search engine. True. Yeah. It, exactly. So, Stop all I'm saying is. Come on. Be be careful what you ask for and be careful what you take from people. Right. Because again, you took the hand out, my brother. <laughs> when the hand was 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 you you bit the hand. So again, I'm not saying that he's wrong in what he said as far as dropping some some content there, some context. But again, when somebody kind of calls you to the carpet on that, like, well, where was you at back when you was trying to get into well, you, when you were getting money it was all good now that you're a billionaire you exactly like you, can, you can reach out you, you can say certain fed. things because you have money but then it's affecting people who still have to make money off this quote-unquote ecosystem that exactly. we have exactly so what's your final thoughts uh on this Bebo? i think um that there's more people 
talking about it, at least from my observation, that there's a lot more people on Ye's side about the the foundational aspect of what he's getting at. Not not every single thing, of course, but um, again, in in a moment where you have Sus Diddy trying to get back out there, and I use a lot of all these <laughs> hand, hand hand Bebo to Kofi. Man, <laughs> hold on, hold on, man. Bebo, you hit the Kofi Bebo. I mean, hold on, no, hold on. it's just it's just a moment where okay. No, I think I, I mentioned this before, but the the foundation of the status quo is really uh, starting to expand that Liberty Bell crack, oh, you know, man. in a lot of areas um, with, in the relationship sector. You've had Kevin Samuels just blow the doors wide open mm -hmm. in the political sector, whether you, you know, whatever side you look at it, you've had presidents 44 and 45 just kind of, you know, just kind of expose and or rather just blow the doors open on some things. So in this situation, uh, again, where you've had something that was, <laughs> quote unquote, forbidden to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Queen Man, Anna, man. Don't do that. No. <laughs> and this all started with mom and the medication. He was on a suicide. Well, um, the thing is, he seems coherent in his in his interviews that you see now, whether he whether or not he is, that's to be determined by, you know, the man upstairs and yay himself. But um, really, we're just we're just hoping for the best outcome um, all across the board with this whole situation, because. Um, uh, yeah, it, well, it, and this, this thing, is very, this, this, this is isn't over. I think Kanye is on a tour on a media tour. You he might is. see him on my rap verse, man, getting an interview by Scam. Hey. He, I he's love just to ready to let it all go, interview. man. He is yeah. frozen, man. He wants to he let can come it on go fresh right out, too. You know what Iceberg, come on Iceberg and Jay Camp, y'all said y'all gonna hear a yay mix uh, from Scam. Yeah, you might hear a yay <laughs> mix on, yeah, on the Scam. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Carmen. Let me let the AK <laughs> off. Right. Right. Yeah, it was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago. It was just all good just a week ago. Real talk. 